we will be modeling a mixing tea with the internal flow looking at the temperatures and the heat transfer throughout the solid and fluid bodies. The first step in this workshop will be using the process template, the fluid flow template, and then checking that we include thermal effects. This will include the energy equation, which is necessary for the conjugate heat transfer modeling. We need to pick out the appropriate CAD body, and then AIM will generate the model. Now that AIM has brought the CAD in, we can see, looking at it, that it doesn't have a fluid volume, so we'll need to create one. And so the process for that is going in and hitting Edit Geometry, and then bringing up the Space Claim interface. I'm now going to go in and select the ends of the pipe, and then place a seed face. Now I have a fluid volume which I can use for my CFD model. So I press close, and then that brings the body through into AIM. The next step in the model is I need to finish defining my inflation layer on my fluid volume. This is a special mesh control that we use inside of CFD to help capture the turbulent, or the boundary layer near the wall, and then the thermal boundary layer near the wall. Next step is to go into fluid regions and then start defining the model. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to only define the fluid and thermal regions in the fluid volume. Second step is I'm going to create a second fluid volume, a physics region. for the solids. And I'm going to give this a different name. The model now needs definition of material properties. So I'm going to use structural steel for the solid bodies. The final step required before we can solve the model is defining some boundary conditions. So I'm going to define two inlets, an outlet on the fluid, I'm also going to find a temperature for the outside of the solid. So holding down control I can multi-select. Next, I'm going to use the regions interface generator to create some interface regions to connect my different solid bodies and then connect my solids to my fluid volume. If you inspect the results, you can see we have two new region interfaces. One is between the solids and the other one is between the fluids and the solid. So the final boundary condition I need to select or create is I'm going to use an insulated 
boundary on the solids. I could go through and pick out all the faces that don't have a boundary condition anymore, but there's also a function that will do that for you. And so I'm going to use that. It's called default walls. And as you can see, it's picked all the faces that are missing boundary conditions, and now we are ready to solve. So now I'm going on to results, select evaluate results, and this will tell AIM to go and start with the upstream mesh, create a mesh, then go to the physics, solve the physics, and then finally update my results files. Now my solution is complete. I can go on and inspect it. If I look at the solution monitors, I will see the output from the CFD solver. You can see my residuals are now below the criteria. And I can also go into the transcript and get a more detailed understanding of how the solve progressed and some of the different outputs from the CFD solver. So if I now go into the results file, I can inspect the results. Something you probably want to do is to put a plane in, create a contour plot. We will be modeling a mixing tea with the internal flow looking at the temperatures and the heat transfer throughout the solid and fluid bodies. This is called conjugate heat transfer modeling.